Okay, welcome to Levi's Stadium, home of yet another 49ers defeat. Uh, they lost 27 to 23 to the New York Giants, gave up a last minute touchdown pass to Eli Manning to ruin Nick Mullins' encore here for, as the 49ers starting quarterback. And, you know, guys, we've seen this all season long. The 49ers can hold a fourth quarter lead. Uh, the pass defense caves in. The offense can't finish off drives with touchdowns. Uh, same old story, Dieter, or, or what do you think? It looked like the same old story. We've seen this a bunch with C.J. Beathard as the quarterback. Now Nick Mullins getting in on the action. Ultimately, it was the defense that kind of let them down. You can't expect that much from Nick Mullins. Uh, he did have a chance to put him over the top, second to last drive. Drives him down six minutes, field goal, gets him on top, but it was the defense that gave up the game-winning touchdown. And the 49ers look like they're going to have a very high draft pick. I think I know where they should spend it. Defense, defense, and defense. Dan, uh, the defense looked pretty good against the Raiders. They helped Nick Mullins out. Uh, what did you think of Nick Mullins' encore tonight? I mean, pretty much the same kind of thing. He looked like he knew what he was doing. Yeah. He threw an interception early, but the player said afterwards, hey, he didn't get rattled, he didn't get down, he stuck with it, he still got a lot of confidence. I think he knows he's put in the work for this. Whatever he did in his debut was not a fluke. He knows the offense, he's familiar with things, but you know, this team keeps talking about finishing. They gotta learn how to finish. They gotta put games away. Well, I mean, it's to the point where you've heard it enough. They really do have to do it. Um, I suspect that once they do it once, it'll be a little carryover effect, but now it's the opposite. It keeps crumbling and when it matters. Yeah, so uh, the Niners going on a bye with a two and eight record. Uh, when they get back, they're gonna be in Tampa Bay on November 25th. I fully expect Nick Mullins to be their quarterback. Uh, you know, the concerning plays are when he throws wide outside the numbers, not sure he's got enough zip on the ball to get it there. He admitted after the game he was late on that first interception throw. So, I mean, he, he's humble enough to know that he's a mortal quarterback. He's also fiery enough to say, look, he was very upset with himself after the game. Uh, not that he missed an opportunity for himself, but for the team because he kept talking about how much everybody battled their butts off. So I think that's a good takeaway that that's a sign of a leader. Niners need that. They also need a quarterback that can close out a game. So uh, that's where the Niners are. Any closing thoughts, fellas? You know who, who he reminds me a little bit of is Sean Hill, like a very limited quarterback, but you can probably trust him for a few games a season to go in and, and, and play okay. Ultimately, you can't ask for a better slate of games to start your NFL career. You get the Raiders, the worst defense perhaps ever. This team, which isn't very good at defense. And then you get Tampa Bay after the bye week and plenty of time in between all of those games. Nick Mullen should start. Hopefully he does a little bit better for his own sake. It gets a lot tougher in December. So savor these moments right now. It might get out of hand here pretty soon. One last thing, and I want to bring Brownie back in on this, is uh, the Niners did a pretty nice sing today. There's obviously everybody in Northern California is affected by the wildfires up in Butte County. Uh, the Niners, they bust in Paradise High's football team. Dan was there to witness that. And just what, what was that moment like seeing those guys? I mean, the story is that Paradise High was one of the top-seeded uh, football teams in their conference. They had to just forfeit the entire playoffs because of the fire devastation in that Chico area. So the Niners had them come down today knowing it wasn't going to fix anything, but give them a little distraction for a few hours. So John Lynch met the team, gave them a pep talk, welcomed to the sidelines, and had them stand on the field for the national anthem. So I think it did work. The players seemed really happy. They got to rub shoulders with NFL players for a night and forget about some stuff. That's something that the Niners would like to do is forget about this one too. So here from Levi's Stadium, the Niners fall 27-23 to to the New York Giants. Thanks for watching.